And I learn a lot from Rainbow Puppy too. I learn about confidence and being more inspirational by just being yourself. Hi, Brianna. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you. And, and, and it's so good to, to, to have the face to the voice sometimes, oh, wow. <laughs> you know? I, I love know that. Yeah, not for the kids, but for us, the grown-ups, we like that. <laughs> I really like hearing that. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> yes, yes. So let's start like from the beginning. Like, what? How this this collaboration came on board? Like, how how was like this process for you to be part of the Blue Schools? And you? Yeah, great question. So basically, I go through an audition process and it's like most voiceover roles, you'll go through auditions and then you'll hope that you hear back, maybe. Um, but realistically, you want to just make sure you do good and you have fun and you just do your best. Um, so I did that and then I ended up, a, I think, maybe even a few months later, I'm not sure, hearing back from the team and they were saying um, that I could come back for a callback. And already that's like, oh my gosh, okay, this is cool. Because realistically, you can learn so much from callbacks. So um, regardless of where it goes, I always like to have a really positive outlook on that and um, just bring what I can to the table and see what happens. And I did that and I remember being able to fully have fun in the callback. Um, we had a moment where they're like, okay, like you do something cool, like you add something to it. And I was like, okay, which doesn't always happen. So um, I got the opportunity to do that. And I remember singing a little bit and like adding in random words with songs. And then next thing I knew, I got the call and I got to meet Rainbow Puppy. And here we are. <laughs> yes, yes. Rainbow, Rainbow Puppy is, she's very, uh, she or he, they, very colorful, <laughs> right? I don't know yeah. which. We are like, it's, it's everything, uh, the, the, I the think. character, I think. <laughs> so, yes, I think, it, I, I think it is. And it's very colorful, very like easygoing, very happy. Do you have this as well? You, Brianna, yeah. is like that too? I would say so, yeah. I think Rainbow Puppy with the way that the character is, you get to kind of decide for yourself, even if you hear she once in a while or something, you kind of get to decide for yourself because um, of the way she looks, but not only that, her personality. Um, and I would say for me, yeah, I, I would hope so. I hope people see me like that. Um, I would say that I do have my bubbly side, my happy side, and I do like to sing and dance. I mean, you can, you can see right now I'm actually doing that, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I just do that naturally. Um, but I think there are a lot of commonalities between both of us. Um, and I learn a lot from Rainbow Puppy too. I learn about confidence and being more inspirational by just being yourself. Um, and it just really encourages me just going on the adventures and everything. She's always very excited about it. Um, and she loves just exploring new things and being curious. And I think those are all things that we get to learn from. Yes, yes, absolutely. And did you have a chance like to, to, to speak with Josh? Did you, did you, did you meet him? How was like this? I have his pen here. Oh my gosh, that's so <laughs> cool. That's, I need one of those. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, surprisingly, no, I haven't yet, which I think is really funny because I'm wondering, like, I obviously see him in all of these episodes and I'm technically acting with him. Um, sometimes I, I record by myself usually, um, so I haven't been able to really hang out or meet the team and all the cast and crew. Um, mostly certain crew members have gotten to meet, you know, who's in studio, but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that experience because I think um, it's cool. I feel like a part of the family already, but I feel like I get to have one more step of like really putting faces to the people that I see um, and the voices that I hear. Yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> you are. And, and also I wanna ask you, how is important for you, like the importance for you to be part of a project like this, like, mm -hmm. like Blue's Clues and you, they don't have like all these diverse character, we yeah. are these diverse, people like uh, actors like voice actors josh and behind and in front of the camera in front of yeah. the camera is just josh but <laughs> you yeah, <got> I know. <laughs> um yeah i mean sometimes there's other human characters in yeah. person um but very rarely compared to all the animated characters who we know are classics 
Um, but I think it's awesome. There's so much diversity, not only in the animated characters, in the voices, but in the people that they bring in and in the messages. There's so much. Um, and that's extremely important for me. Very. I mean, the way I look, who I am, it's all very important. I'm like, I wear my hair curly today because I think that's important. Um, even something as small as that, like you really learn to embrace yourself i think the older you get and having such an important show that teaches that is there's nothing like it it's it is iconic for a reason um and i think that is one of the biggest messages and takeaways from this it's not only diversity it's acceptance it's being yourself so yeah i definitely can see that yeah because kids learn like as like the mirror like the stuff yeah. that they see it so it's very important also, like, when did you figure out that you want to be a voice actor? Your, vo your voice is amazing, and Thank so, you. by the way. So, uh, when did you figure out that, that you want to do for you for, for a living? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I have a manager and agent, um, Sheila Scribner and Portia Scott. And um, I remember being introduced to Portia through my manager, and I was pretty young. I was, I think like 18, but I've always sung. I've always sung. And then I kind of fell into acting. And then I was like, wait, I could do both at the same time. Cause I had experience with choir and I was like, let me try something else. So when I started doing that, I was like, oh wow, like this is fun. I have a whole personality that I get to play. And I just kept following through that. And then when I finally met Portia, I got the opportunity to really explore different things. And just by having, um, different things sent to me, I get to try different voices and figure out my personality and what I sound like and how can I work in singing with this role, um, which comes along sometimes. Even video games, sometimes there's different voices there and like efforts and you just learn all this stuff. And I think for me, the turning point was honestly just standing in the booth. And I actually remember standing um, and semi auditioning for her um, and just showing like what I was and who I am. And um, I remember singing in the booth and I was like, oh my gosh, like yeah. this is cool. Cause I get to act and I'm also singing in a recording studio. What? <laughs> so yeah, I think that was actually one of the biggest turning points for me. And just knowing I love to see, do random voices by myself, like around the house and practice accents. So I was like, I think it's a good fit. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. And aside from this project, you have anything else that you're working on that you can talk about? I'm always working on creative stuff, always, um, that I can talk about. I don't know. Um, a lot of things are always in the works. I think creative projects take a long time. So um, depending on what it is, I like to do a little bit of art, a little bit of uh, design work, digital work, songwriting. So it's all kind of like in the works in the background, but I, I try to have one major focus nowadays because I've had experience doing too much at once being a creative person. Um, so yeah, I'm mostly just focusing on voice acting right now and then seeing what realms I fit in with that. But I love animation and I love children's animation and anything I can sing in. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Brianna, I just want to thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you and a lot of success. And I can't wait to see you more like thank on you. screen and your voice too. <laughs> Bobo. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye. Bye. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like and subscribe to our channel right here.